G'day everyone. I've been up here in the bush today with my wife and my kids. A family day. Practicing the three F's. Fishing, four-wheel driving, family time and fun. Which leads me into today's lesson. There's three types of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Gotta be a fish in here somewhere. Nice cast, Robert, nice cast. Getting muddy. Oh, stop panicking you kids, it's not the end of the world. Just a bit of mud. <laughs> God, you think you can panic? <laughs> Maybe next time he's will go to school. God, I've been in much steeper than this. What I might do is put it in low four. It means I can just roll down really slow. Look, it's safer. It means I don't have to use the brakes. Because if I use the brakes, we could slip on the mud. See, at the moment, we're going really slow, and I'm hardly even touching my brakes. So that's not too bad, is it? No, you've got to go right to the bottom. Look, it's all the way down there. You okay, this guy? You okay, Holly? No. This is the worst part over. Look, it's not that bad now. Look at the hill on the other side of the creek, steeper. Yeah. You can look now, it's not that bad now. Look, we're doing it easy. That's not that bad. Which way does the track go? Oh, this way. That wasn't that bad. Hey, we've done it easy. I can't believe you kids even doubted my ability to get up that track. You okay, kids? You haven't fallen out the back of the car, have you? Yes. You're not laying on the ground down at the creek still, are you? There's lunch. Oh, I think I just ran right over his head. I'm pretty sure I just squashed his brains out. It's a bit rough. Oh, look. There's a lake. Would you kids like us to go? Why don't, why don't we uh, throw some lines in with some worms on them and see if we can catch a red fin? And I'll cook us up a gourmet lunch at the table here. How does that sound? Um...
This little run just here has always produced trout. Come on, old faithful, give us a fish. In one of my favourite holes with one of my favourite lures, the little black and gold straw tiger nymph. I finally had a hit and I missed the hook up. I finally had a hit. Rightio, after fishing numerous holes, lakes, creeks and rivers all day, four wheel driving up steep terrain, I have not even spooked a fish or seen a fish. It has just been almost dead. But I've just come to one of my most faithful, loyal producers, a hole that always seems to produce a trout, but it didn't on opening morning. And I've had a strike on my strike tiger nymph soft plastic. I had two strikes that failed to hook up. Now I've quietly walked away from that hole. What I'm going to do is go downstream and try another little hole that I know that's not as reliable as that one, but it might be okay. Just give this hole here 10 or 15 minutes for that fish to hopefully recoup. Then I'm going to come back up and flick a bunch of worms in and see if I can't catch at least one fish for this uh, this wonderful family outing. <laughs> Audio. As planned, I've returned to this hole about half an hour later. I've got a little tiny split shot, a small hook, and a bunch of worms. And I've even put on a camouflage jumper. Not because I'm cold, but because I had a bright blue shirt on earlier. Now, my youngest daughter Holly is in the car and she really wants to touch a fish. I really, really, really want to catch one for her. Does the nibble? Does the nibble? Take it, take it, take it. Got him! Holly! Holly! I've got this tiny little rainbow trout on here. It's taken me all day to hook him. Come on, quick! I can't take it up there, darling. He'll die. I can't lift it out of the water yet because my youngest daughter wants to come and have a look. It's taken me all day to hook this one weeny little rainbow trout. <laughs> I haven't lifted him out of the water yet, I'm just hoping that he doesn't fall off. Are you ready? Are you both coming, are you? Can I hold him? Oh, I'll be going to hold him, darling. I'll get him out and you can touch him. Because there's not very many around this year, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, bring him in, bring him in. Are you Sky coming over? Yes, he's going to fall Are you coming or not, Sky? You've got to be quick. I'm gonna have to lift him out, darling. I'm gonna, I wanna let him go, okay? You ready, Holly? Holly, come on, quick, ready? Yeah. We'll lift him up. You ready? Put you put him back, okay? There's yeah. a pretty little rainbow <laughs> tree out. Look, is only a little one. You ready? <laughs> hold, him, hold your hands out. Don't no, move, quick, quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on, darling. Do you want me to put him back? No, quick, go, go, go. Quick, throw him back. Throw, throw him in the water. Good girl. There he goes, look, see him swim under the log there? Yeah. Wow. He's so cute. I woke up this morning and thought, I'm on annual leave, I'm going fishing. Then the kids woke up and said, Dad, we've got sore throats. And I had a bit of a sore throat myself, so I had to believe them. So I gave them the day off school and we've brought them up here, the four of us, my wife and I and the kids. We've had a family day, we've been forward driving up some really steep tracks and through some muddy, slippery things, the kids got a bit scared. I've fished a number of different creeks. I've cooked a nice lunch in the, in the sun. It's just been a wonderful family day, but the trout fishing's been tough. I just caught my first fish around the corner in the hole that I told the kids was gonna be the last hole I fished. And then here I am 10 minutes later in a different hole. <laughs> I wouldn't be a fisherman if I didn't just need one more cast. <laughs> 